Hi, my name is Daisy and I'm recording this message as a member of the Youth Cabinet who represent all young people across East Sussex. This section of the webinar is on equality and youth voice. So we'll look at what equality is and what it means to us as young people, some of the campaigns we're working on and hear a little bit more about the equality work and projects that are going on in Rother, Eastbourne, Wildon, Hastings and St Leonard's and Lewis. As young people, we are affected by the impact of ingrained inequality. Many young people in East Sussex have personally experienced some form of discrimination, whether it's about our gender, disability, mental health, sexual orientation, race, religion, or for our economic background. The more we learn and talk about it, the more understanding we gain of how damaging these experiences can be for us as a community and for our well-being as individuals. The past few years have seen a lot of interest in tackling these inequalities from young people and part of the reason I put myself forward for election to the Youth Cabinet is because I feel that it is extremely important for people to feel safe in any environment, which is something that doesn't seem to happen at the moment. With the support of the East Sussex County Council Children's Services, other departments and organisations like Sussex Police and the NHS, the backing of the school I attend and with local support I feel we are able to look closely at where we can highlight the importance of improving equality, diversity and inclusion and all personally get involved to make a difference. The Equality Act was introduced in 2010 to protect people's rights and encourage equal opportunities for everyone. Under this Act, people are not allowed to discriminate, harass or victimise anyone because of their protected characteristics, including age, disability, gender, race, religion or sexual orientation. Because of the Equality Act, the public bodies we work with need to consider three things. One, how they might eliminate discrimination and harassment. Two, to advance equal opportunities for all. And three, to foster good relations. Through the Youth Cabinet, we participate in shaping a future in which young people from all backgrounds can thrive and flourish. Youth Cabinet gives us a platform to set our own priorities and become part of a community where we can share our voice and have agency in the way our services are run and designed. I'm Elsa, a former Youth Cabinet member, and since then I've been continuing to be involved in the Youth Voice in East Sussex through the Inspect and Advise group as part of East Sussex Community Voice, the Youth PPI Cafe and Young Health Watch. I'm also here to speak as a member of my community here in Rother. The Youth Cabinet believe that one of the most important things that should be done is to ask people questions about our identities. Many young people are now used to this already. The Youth Cabinet understand that unless you ask us, young people, whether we are disabled or of a particular gender or part of the LGBTQ plus community, and of what ethnic background we identify as, and more. Unless you ask us those questions, how will you know if you are perhaps discriminating without even knowing you are doing this? How will you know if perhaps boys in a youth setting feel less able to express their feelings and might be excluded? How will you know if it is boys who might be afraid of speaking out about unhealthy relationships and want to ask for help if you don't analyse survey responses by comparing the different genders? How would you know if a young person of mixed racial heritage feels they are being judged because of stereotypes and what their needs are if you don't analyse survey responses by comparing the different ethnicities? If you don't ask those equality monitoring questions, how would you know? As young people, we are becoming more and more used to people with different pronouns. It seems that you adults are catching up with us, but we still need to keep asking those questions. Hiya, I'm Amelie. I've just finished at Willington Community School and I'm a Youth Cabinet member for East Sussex County Council. So we wanted to share a few examples of local work that schools in East Sussex have been doing to address and improve equality. 
Beacon Academy has worked to develop an LGBTQ plus inclusive school by delivering whole school training, by making sure there is LGBT visibility within the curriculum, by having inclusivity as a core value for both staff and students in the school, through ensuring they visibly celebrate diversity to reinforce the work they have been doing, for example, celebrating pride and having displays. And finally, creating a safe space for students through setting up a diversity club. Claverham Community College in Battle used the Black Lives Matter movement to open up a discussion about race equality with their pupils. It surveyed their pupils, asking them if they were aware of the protests and whether or not they understood why they happened. They asked if the school should have a quality and diversity club and, if it did, whether they would want to be part of it. And finally, they asked, what is the school they should do next? The East Sussex County Council Mental Health Support Team Service have developed a forum of young people who want to help shape their mental health provisions in schools. So far, they have designed the branding for the service, including the name, strapline and logo. The young people in this forum has al have also made recommendations about the referral process, welcome pack and other paperwork, and they will now be looking at how to encourage more boys to access the service in schools. Hi, I'm Bella and I'm a member of Ethos Youth Cabinet for Hastings and Flemers and a member of the community here in Hastings. I'm here today to share some examples of what schools in the Hastings and Flemers area are doing to tackle discrimination and also what I'm doing my own, in my own work for Youth Cabinet. A number of local schools in the area have been working together in response to issues raised regarding online hate by young people via social media. Working alongside the police and their peers, they have chosen the campaign to hashtag delete the hate. In a recent training session with students from schools across Hastings and St Leonard's, looked at national data collected from 13 to 17 year old young people by Childnet International and UK Safer Internet Centre in June 2020. The campaign will be ongoing throughout the academic year. The aim of the hashtag delete campaign is to support young people in the local area to feel confident in standing up and to reporting online hate and to promote kindness via social media. Within my work in 2020, East Hussey Youth Cabinet voted to tackle domestic violence as a top priority concern for the East Hussey Youth Cabinet to work on. The Youth Cabinet's role is to gather the views and experiences of young people and work with decision makers to improve services. Youth Cabinet members have been working with partners with the, in the Children and Young People's Trust to design a survey for students to share their examples of sexual abuse and harassment, which will be used by those in, lo in charge of local services to inform their work. We will then use the results to inform our continuing campaign on to tackle, tackling domestic violence. Um, thank you very much for listening and I hope that this um, was a good way to share um, what people were doing in East Sussex around discrimination and hate crime. So thank you very much for listening.